<clears throat> yeah, Shalom. First, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostles of Elsewhere, Millstone, that were well. Salutations to the Akim, teaching a word of sincerity and truth. And blessings to the elect and one third of Israelites scattered worldwide, predestined to be saved. Now, I'm coming with um, uh, what inspired me to do this lesson. Obviously, it's a spirit of Abashim Yashai, but I saw one of the brothers in Great Millstone do a video on um, the greatest commandment because Yahweh Shai, I mean, we, we know that we couldn't keep the law when we were, uh, you know, when um, the Lord gave it, gave us the law, statute of commandments, you know, and um, Moses came down from Mount Sinai, you know, even back then, when the Lord has just saved you and delivered you out of the clutches of the Egyptians, as soon as, you know, Moses went up to the mountain and you know, he, he, you know, it took a while. They started worshipping idols in the golden calf. You know? So that, that shows that those people back then, our ancestors had no faith whatsoever. Alright? None whatsoever. But the brother did a really good uh, video um, about which is the greatest commandment. So we're going to go into that because, because at the end of the day, we can have as much knowledge of this truth as uh, you know, you can it can be bountiful. It can be uh, 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 you know overflowing. But at the end of the day, you have to apply these commandments into your life. All right, and um, the greatest commandment is this one that you see on the screen. All right, and this is Matthew twenty-two verse thirty-six. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? All right, so he, he's asking the Messiah, which is the greatest commandment. All right. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. So how do we show love to the Heavenly Father? Is by obeying him. Okay. If you, if you, even if you look at relationships, you know, when you, you know, you go out with a woman or whatever, and, you know, it's going well, two become one, etc., etc., all right? But there has to be um, a mutual respect, mu mutual love, you know, for that marriage uh, to work out. We've not really shown the Heavenly Father and His Son that, you know, we love them. Because if we loved the Heavenly Father, myself included, we would have obeyed him. And then these curses would not come upon us. Okay? So that's the first commandment, right? Uh, Thou shalt love thy Lord, thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Okay? That's what we have to do. Um, verse 38. This is the first and greatest commandment. So the Lord comes first. Okay. So in order for you to um, fulfill this uh, commandment. You have to put this truth before anything. Alright. And sometimes it can be difficult etc. But I'm telling you. You, you have to. Alright. Because at the end of the day. Your job is not going to save you. Your wife is not going to save you. Your kids. Um, uh, you know, your mates, <laughs> you know, what's going to um, save you is loyalty to the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right. So that's our, that's the greatest commandment. All right. And 39. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So the way you... Um, look after yourself and you know the way you want to be treated all right that's how you're supposed to treat uh your fellow israelite all right because um they are our neighbors all right and and remember israelites are scattered all around the world but this is not talking about oh 
uh, the Edomites, you know, the the Chinese or whatever. This is about us, all right? So what disrespects you or what you find disrespectful, all right, then you shouldn't uh, in turn do that to others. I'm, I'm, you know, I remember the one a good example I can give you is my late dad. My mom told me years ago that um, a, a old couple owed him money, seventy five pounds or something like that, you know. And for some reason, I'm not too sure, but they couldn't pay it or they didn't pay it. And rather than my dad have mercy on them, my dad just uh, basically took them. You know, I, I think he took them to court or escalated the. You know, um, um, he wanted the money. But these uh, were two uh, 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 elderly people. All right? Uh, I don't know if they were Israelites or not, but let's just say they were Israelites. Okay? That's not loving your neighbor. All right? You know, if they can't pay the money, uh, uh, you know, back, then you take them to court and stuff like that. Would you like to be treated that way? If you had money problems? No, you wouldn't. So... That's the first thing that we need to do is love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul. And the second is to love your neighbor. And your neighbor is a fellow Israelite. All right? All right? And I'm going to prove that. Matthew 22, verse 40. All right? On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So these um, two commandments to love your, your fellow Israelite as thyself. And, and most of all, first one is to love Yahweh Bashim Yashai with all thy might and all thy soul. All right? If you do those two commandments, all right, all the other commandments in the Bible filters under them because you're being obedient to the Heavenly Father and His Word. And that's what got us in this low state that we are. To the point now where uh, uh, years ago, I'm not going to mention the group's name, they were, uh, Israelite group was in New York and a woman from Yemen came up to them. She had a hijab, this, that. And when they actually were trying to prove, which they did, that we were the real Jews, she was sniggling and laughing. You know? Sniggling. Yeah, and the reason why she's doing that is because she thinks that we are the lowest of the low. You know? We're totally at the bottom, etc., etc. And she's like, nah, you guys can't be, uh, you know, uh, Israelites and this, that and the other. Okay. No, but we are. But to show that we are Israelites, we have to conduct ourselves as Israelites. All right. So if we do those two things, the Lord is very pleased with us. All right. All right. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. All right. And we know that the, the, <laughs> our people hated the prophets. And most of them were put to death by our own people. So they, you know, they stoned Stephen, you know. Like a brother said in, in, in um, San Francisco camp, you Israelites hate mercy. This is mercy, man. All right? This is mercy. Mm -hmm. So let me prove that this, when it says love your neighbor, all right, love thy, love thy neighbor as thyself, because one thing the enemy has done the enemy is, uh, uh, when he enslaved us, taught us his version of the Bible, which was basically for us to be submissive and, you know, uh, 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 oh, your reward is going to be in heaven when you die. It was all done to control us because uh, the first few entities in slavery, the first, uh, you know, uh, decades in slavery in the Caribbean, we, we, I mean, we were doing rebellions all the time. No one wants to be a slave. All right. No one wants to be a slave at all, you know. So we have to, we have, we, we have to understand that disobeying the Lord has got us in this mess. All right. Now let's go to, uh, let's see. Uh, we go back. All right. And on this one, I think we're going to use the Bible blue letter. All right, and this is a, a great online tool. All right, Bible Blue Letter that translates the Bible, you know, in English to the original, you know, to Hebrew and in in the New Testament Greek. Uh, Greek. Okay, so you can get the full understanding. Now let's 
Uh, let's see now. Let's go. Matthew. Two. I hate this. I hate this stuff, you know. This technology. <laughs> um, it's lovely when it works. <laughs> All right, Matthew twenty-two. Okay, and this is something that you brothers and sisters that in this truth, you should be using this. All right, but let me give you an example. All right, uh, two commandments. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So this is Matthew 22, verse 5. All right. So when you click on the scripture, it will show you all the, all the English on the left and then the translation on the right, which is uh, Greek. Okay. See, look, and the second is like onto, onto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. You can see the word neighbor here. All right. All right. Let's click on it. Okay. Um, let's see now. And you can play the actual translate the translation. Strong's G forty one thirty nine. Play Sion. Play Sion. So play Sion. That's the word. For neighbor in that scripture, Matthew 22. All right, all right. Um, and what does it mean? Let's go down here. A neighbor, a friend, any per any other person where two are concerned, uh, the other, and, and look what it says in brackets thy fellow man, thy neighbor. According to the Jews. Who are the Jews? Us. Any member of the Hebrew nation commonwealth. So that's talking about a fellow Israelite. It ain't talking about uh, 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 this devil. Okay. And that's why this is an excellent tool. The Bible Buddha. You know, in case you, you know, want to understand things and. You know, and look at the translations, because because things things like John three sixteen, our people have been brainwashed to think that that means the whole world. No, it doesn't mean the whole world. All right, Israel shall be saved with everlasting salvation, world without end. That's in the book of Isaiah. All right, you have the hip hop world, the sports world, the animal world, this that and the other. When Christopher Columbus, so called, went to the Americas, he said he's going to the new world. All right. So that's why this Bible Blue Letter is a very, very good tool for everyone to uh, use. So you have to treat, all right, all right, your average brother, and, you know, your, your, you know, your brother and sister as how you would want to be treated, all right? And if we did that, we wouldn't have black on black crime. It's simple. It's, it's true. We wouldn't have it, all right? Now let's go to... Uh, easy, yes, yes, okay. Uh, Sorak, uh, what is it? Sorak, uh, 14, I think it is. Sorak, 14. All right, and this is uh, verse 5. We're going to start it. All right. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus in Apocrypha 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? So if it's a person that is, 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 wick, is, is wicked to themselves, not taking care of themselves, all right, this, that, and the other, okay? If there, if, if there's someone that doesn't care for themselves, how are they going to care for you? Okay? He, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? All right? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Okay? So a person, a person that is a, what's it called? Um... 
a person that doesn't look after themselves, you know, uh, uh, who does all the wrong things, all right, and they're doing that to themselves, how, how do you think they're going to do to you? Do you get what I'm saying? If you don't love your... If you don't love yourself, how are you going to love others as well? You know? And that's the problem that we have. I think uh, we have slipped into this complacent uh, uh, um, place. And it's mainly because of this church doctrine that many people have. Love, love, love. But that's not the Lord's only attribute. Okay? So at, so at, so at the end of the day, you know, someone that doesn't, take care of himself, his time, time is, is all messed up, he's drinking alcohol all the time, this, that, and the other. If he's doing that to himself, how's he going to um, love you? Okay? So our mind has to be in the right place. And that's why the Bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it needs to be renewed because this place has polluted us, man. Okay? Big time. All right, this is Romans 12 and 9. All right. All right. All right. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. All right. So that's what we have to do in these last days, man. And let love be without dissimulation. All right, uh, let's look up that word dissimulation. Let's see. You know? So we can get proper understanding. This. Dissim. Aha, dissimulation. There you go. All right. Dissimulation. Concealment of one's thoughts, feelings. Or character pretense, right? An attempt at dissimulation, right? So, yeah, basically, it means a, a concealment of one's thoughts, feelings, or character uh, a pretense, an attempt at dissimulation, okay? So, di roughly, di di uh, dissimulation means to be sincere, okay? All right? I see it is. Sin. Sin. Say. All right. The simulation. Okay. So we don't want that, man. All right. To simulate. To hide your feelings character or or intentions all right so we have to be um what's the word sincere in what we're doing basically all right because like it says here look to hide your feelings your real feelings character or intentions that sounds like a serpent all right so it says what let's go back to it let's go back to romans okay now, now we know what dissimulation means. Because there's many people out there that are in this truth. And I, I, honestly, I don't know why some of them are doing it, man. You know, maybe it's just a fad to them. But this is everything, man. You know? And if we can't um, keep those two commandments to the best of our ability, then we're, excuse my language, we're fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right? Simple as that, man. Uh, KJV. See, let love be without dissimulation. All right. So we, you want to be sincere, not be insincere and hide your intentions and have a separate agenda. You know, and we've had that. We, you know, not not gonna go over old ground. We had that in our camp a few years ago. You know. Uh, you know, brothers came in, this, that, and the other. But after a while, you know, they got too big for their boots. You know, they wanted to be in leadership positions. So really, they weren't sincere. Just labor, man. All right? The harvest is plenty. The laborers are few. Okay? 
So abhor means to stay away from. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. So, and when it says good, good by the Heavenly Father's standards, not the world's standards. When someone dies in this place, oh, she was such a nice person, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, if they was such a nice person, why did the Lord take them out in, in, in the way that he um, uh, uh, has done or is doing to our people? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So we have to abhor, stay away from evil. All right. The more we stay away from that wickedness and evil, all right, and we concentrate on those two commandments, loving the Lord and loving your neighbor, boy, we're going to be uh, 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 down that narrow path and the Lord will deliver us. All right. But if, if, if you're not doing this um, uh, uh, ministry in truth and sincerity, the Lord... All right, is gonna completely destroy you, man. And the the funny thing is, because we're black, Hispanic, Native American, when people see us on the street, they think we're gonna do some beatboxing or rap or, you know, they think it's a joke what we're doing sometimes, you know. And the ones of the ones of our people that are taking this truth just as entertainment and not sincere in learning, all right, the law's gonna get rid of you, okay. Just a matter of time. Believe that, man. All right. Matthew 18. Oh, oops. Wrong one. 18. Verse 6. All right. So, who is going to... Who 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 are predestined to, to keep those two commandments which hang upon the whole law? All right. Who is predestined to be saved... Because they're going to do that. It's the Lord's elect. Alright. The election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. Romans 11 and 7. Alright. Matthew 18 verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones. And it's talking about the elect of the nation Israel man. Alright. 12,000 men from each tribe. Alright. Which believe in me. It were better for him. That a millstone were hung about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. So, when they come up to us on the street, where it's our people, or other people, you know, or these heathens, when they come up and uh, you know, not sincere, and they're you know, causing strife, and they're offending us, right? You you can offend us all you want. The law is going to take care of you, man. The Lord's going to deal with you, okay? So the little ones are his elect, all right? All right? None, and, and the Lord is going to keep his um, uh, uh, elect safe in the days of uh, what's called Jacob's trouble, man. All right? Some of them are going to be martyrs, be killed for the witness of your shy. Some of them are going to be given spiritual powers. Some... Brothers have passed on already. Uh, you know, a brother in Great Millstone in America, he passed. He had cancer, he passed away. You know? Uh, you know, when when I heard about that, I just prayed for his family, friends, or whatever. But he's made it. As long as he was in his truth, he's made it, man. And we know that death is better than than living. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. The day of one's death is better than the day of one's birth. All right? So, how do we show... That we love the Lord and we love thy neighbor. All right. So if you have a brother in this truth, you know, etc. And they're in need of something and you can provide it. You know, then really we should be offering rather than, you know, a brother, you know, asking for help. You know, because we have to um, treat people the way we want to be treated. But we have to love each other, man. Okay, so when one brother in the camp or whatever is going through something, all the rest of the people, in, the brothers in the camp, the Akim, should go through that stuff with him, all right, and support him, okay, that's love, that's showing love, okay, and we have to do that in a practical sense because, what does it say, faith without works 
is dead, man. All right? If you're a stingy uh, 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 black Scrooge, all right, that have got lots of money, and then one of the brothers in the camp is broke, and you're not even offering, there's, you, listen, you've got a problem, man. Okay? All right? Uh, what's it goes, 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 goes. This is Matthew, J I mean James two and fourteen. What do if it profit, my brethren? Though a man say he have faith and have no works, can faith save him? See, so we do have faith, but you have to have works with that man, and that works is what doing this truth, being diligent in it, and also helping brothers out. You know, a few sisters that are in this truth as well. Okay? If we, you know, and that, this scripture comes under those two commandments. You know? Alright, verse 15. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. Alright? <clears throat> and one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Be... Be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doeth it profit? So if you have a brother or sister in the truth and, you know, they need something, you know, they could be locked out of their house or, or you know, they could be, uh, you know, having an eviction notice and, you know, and, you know, they come to you and your brother's, in this truth, uh, and you can help, all right, you know, we'll, we'll pray about it, and that's it, you know, no, no, faith without works is dead, all right, if you can help that person, do it, you would want the same thing, if you was in that situation, okay, so you can have all the faith in the world, but if you're not showing it by your works, being diligent in this truth, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, brotherly love, you know, the, it says charity covers a multitude of sins. Okay? Alright, uh, verse 17. Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Exactly, man. But there's some Israel groups where, you know, these people, uh, uh, you know, oh, it's raining today, so we're not going to go out. Oh, it's cold today, so we're not going to. No, be instant in season, out of season. You know? Crazy. All right. Eight, verse 18. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. There you go. So, in order for us to show brotherly love, to, to love the Lord with all thy heart and soul, we have to have faith, yes, but we have to have works as well. So if someone is around you and needs something, all right, you know, and you can provide it, do that, man. Years ago, I'll give you one example. Years ago, we had a, a guy that was in our camp, and his, he, his parents, actually, not to bring out too much about it, his parents kicked him out of the house because of this truth. They kicked him out, man. All right? And that's in the scriptures. Because they were into the, you know, the, the, the you know, the uh, uh, white Jesus stuff, etc. And, they, you know, his dad actually kicked him out of the house. Now, I never knew um, too much about the situation. But he just called me out of the blue and said, can I stay at your place? And I said, why? And then he said, well, um, my, you know, my dad kicked me out because of this truth, this, that and the other. And um, I was like, you know, because I've got illness as well. I, I, I said, do what you can for now. All right. If you ain't got nowhere to stay. All right. Uh, in a, you know, in a couple of days time, then, yeah, you can stay with me. And um, when, he, when, when two, two days later he came and when he showed me and told me what happened, you know, I said, yeah, you can stay here. And I, I drove him to the underground station because he needed to get some other stuff from somewhere else. He was sleeping in cars, this, that, and the other. And I, I dropped him to the station and, you know, said goodbye to him. You know, the, and then I think the next day he was going to come to move in. And I'm not going to lie to you. When I, when I stopped, I, as soon as he walked away from my car, I cried, man. 
I cried. I thought, I, I said to myself, how can you do um, that to your own son? You know, just because he has a different belief system. See, that's how strong that this coconut Christianity has done, man. All right. But his situation was prophecy as well. You know, and he stayed with me for quite a while, about six months, whatever. He's, he's not in the truth now, but if I didn't do that, I would always have that on my conscience. So when when a brother is, uh, you know, or a few sisters that in his truth is in need, try and help them, man. And if you can't help them, pray for them at least, you know, and encourage them to pray for themselves. Okay. All right. This is, and uh, his family, his great, his great family uh, uh, kicked him out because of uh, this truth, man. That shows you how wicked this place is, man, and how wicked our people have become. Well, really, they're always wicked. All right. Matthew 10. And remember, we were wicked as well. All right. So the Lord has given us this gift. All right. So don't waste it. Same with me. I, I'll tell you. Pff, oh, God. I was going to do this video a few hours ago. Then pain came and this, that and the other. A little bit of respite now. And I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing this video because. Uh, hey. Faith without works is dead, isn't it? So Matthew 10 and 34. Think not I've come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. And that's when he. Yeah, also I come back with the angels. Verse 35. For I've come to set a man at variance. Against his father and daughter, against her mother and the daughter-in-law, against her mother-in-law. So you have to understand that just like um, uh, the guy that was in our camp, all right, your own family will will uh, when when you're in this truth, all right, will catch hell. They will give you hell. There's other examples of other brothers in the camp that's had the, the same situation, but. I don't want to speak on it too much, you know? All right? Uh, this is verse 36, Matthew 10, 36. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right? So it's going to um, it's gonna be a, a, a rocky road, especially when all hell breaks loose, you know? But if we do those two commandments, to love the Lord thy God of our heart and to love your neighbor as thyself, we're on the right track. So those are the greatest commandments. And what I liked about the brother's video that I saw earlier on, he said that this scripture is overlooked. And it's true. Even I've overlooked it. Because at the end of the day, if we don't have love, all right, um, number one for the Heavenly Father, but for each other, then how, how are we going to get out of oppression? Let's just say that, you know, uh, uh, God forbid, Yahushua is going to come in 50 years' time. From now to 50 years, Later, what would we achieve? We're not going to achieve anything. You know why? Because our people don't love the Lord, and they don't, and they don't love their neighbors as um, they as they love themselves. They don't treat people the way you want to be treated. And it's not all of our people, but it's the majority. And that's why the majority is is, is going to be destroyed, man. Okay. So those are uh, are the greatest commandments. All right. So that's in Matthew. Uh, 22, all right, verse um, 37. So at the end of the day, all right, we live. We were born to do this, nothing else, you know? So that's why, I, it's, <laughs> boy, that's why I thought to myself, okay, all right, you know, pain's gone now, so let me just do this, uh, 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 you know, video. Do you get what I mean? So I'm going to leave it at that for now. All right, I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Archeum, teaching in Syria, the word in sincerity and in truth. All right, and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites predestined to be saved. Stay strong, stay in the Lord. Shalom.